for those who know who I am, I'm Stewie from Stewie's Adventures, and uh, I love an adventure, you know. Normally, we go for wheel driving and we go sailing, we do whatever we can to uh, enjoy ourselves. Um, but this time, an adventure overseas. <gasps> I haven't even told half my mates about this, so who knows? I'll tell you where later. So we're going to get on a connecting flight. We're going to head to Sydney and then we're going to head overseas. It's about an eight hour flight. I'm not going to tell you where yet. Um, I've set myself three goals this year. Uh, personal goals. I always set work goals, but I've got three personal goals. One is to learn a new language. And the reason why we're going on a plane now is to go to the country where we're learning the language. So hopefully it's only a five day trip. We're gonna make most of speaking. I can't even speak English, like really. Anyway, the other goal was to um, learn a musical instrument and I can safely say that I can now play um, somewhere over the rainbow with a ukulele. Mm, yeah. And the other one is to read 10 books. Well, I've read eight chapters of one book. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing the other two, okay? I'm doing the other two, so. Well, wish me luck. Well, there's the plane. Sydney's a, uh, well, it was raining before. Adelaide is beautiful. Uh, there's been a bit of a delay. The plane next to us, the gate next to us, they got their flight cancelled. So those poor buggers will go to New Zealand. They're, well, they're going to have an adventure tonight, wherever they stay. Anyway, so we're just about to board. And um, yeah, here we go. Well, just got into the uh, taxi in the Philippines, in Manila. Uh, the traffic is horrendous. We've got a good taxi driver. Woo! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's um, a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's just uh, crazy. And um, here, check, we'll check this out. Um, how do I do this? Steering wheel's on the wrong side of the road. I'm on the, I'm on the right hand side of the road. And the one thing I didn't realize is the steering wheel's on the left. See? It's crazy here, mate. It's crazy. Ooh, this is an adventure. This is one of Stewie's adventures. Oh, check out this. This is a jeepney. Jeepney. He goes, no, look at this. Oh, we're going to get in one of them. Oh, imagine being on that motorbike. No way. Oh, there is no way of getting on a motorbike here. Look at the traffic. <laughs> Those people, they're going to die. Okay, so this just reminds me a little bit of Bangkok. Look at that big bridge there. Cars are going everywhere, motorbikes are going everywhere. This place is crazy. Why would you do that? <laughs> Skyway. Now the new star casino looks like the Crown Casino. This is crazy. This is absolute crazy. Look at that jeepney there. Gotta get one of those for the tracks. Imagine taking that up to Love Day. See, they stack them in, don't they? Oof. This is crazy. <laughs> People just walking over the road, cars. Just, everyone's got thongs on. It's 29 degrees. We're gonna die any minute soon. Yeah, there's a bridge up there, the cars are on the bridge up there. Uh, again, we're still on the wrong side of the road. Wow, oh, you don't get sort of Avengers like this in Adelaide. Woo! Come on, Flinders Rangers, pick your game up. So we stopped at this place called Jollibee for a bit of dinner, and it's a bit like, I don't know, KFC or something like that. Wild night. It's been a, it's been a uh, 
had no sleep for probably 24 hours. I'm tired, this is an adventure. Now we're heading off to Puerto Galera. So it's a three o'clock, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's three o'clock in the morning now. I'm exhausted. And um, yeah, so we'll get the bus and uh, then we'll get a ferry over to Puerto Galera. And uh, yeah, get some uh, Filipino food into us. So yeah, Ooh. if I, Stay awake, of course. So we've uh, arrived at the uh, port. We're about to get on a uh, boat, a ferry to go over to Puerto Galera. Puerto Galera. <coughs> Still learning the language. And I'm first try at uh, Filipino coffee. See how we go. Well, this is something. Look at the mountains there. We're in a port. I can't even say the name of the port. It's called Batagas or something. Batagas or something like that. There's a monument on the hill over there. Oh, you can't even see it. Uh, it's a pretty big port. That's where they all the ships dock. As you can see, there's, uh, there's ships everywhere. What an interesting place. So it took about an, uh, two hours to get here by the, uh, the bus. And this uh, this uh, boat ride is going to be about an hour until we get to our destination. The whole reason we're doing this trip is so, you know, I can really understand the, uh, the language. And then uh, I'll learn. My teacher's teaching me all the language. on the yacht right now you can see the, the difference in the uh, the water there with the wind there's no real waves how cool is this you get a chance guys come to the Philippines I tell you there's something you, you'll uh, there's something you've got to see so on the way here on the bus we uh, went past all these what we would call in Australia shanties where basically poor people live in these tin sheds and and it, it's the most amazing thing everyone's got a bloody smile on their face it's just you know we've got everything in Australia and we just can't put a smile on our face like this is just ridiculous these people got nothing and they're the most beautiful people I've ever come across uh, where's that? I don't know if you can see, there's a guy, there's a guy, there we go, canoeing out there. Mate, there's ships everywhere, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, so anyway, there's, these people are just so freaking happy and, and they're, nothing fazes them and everyone's smiling and I'm, I'm basically the only tourist here. I'm the tallest person here by a country mile. Everyone is, um, What's the uh, the right term for it? Short asses. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm a tall bastard, and um, yeah, it's just an amazing place. So I'm so happy I've done this, and it's I'm speaking the language. I'm speaking the language to the locals, and they're understanding me. And every time I say something in Tagalog, it they smile and and they repeat what I say, or they say thank you in. Yeah, which is Salamat. So this is an adventure of a different type. This, this is just awesome. So I don't know if you can see uh, in the distance there's uh, hills, but there's a, a fair bit of um, mist around. What a cool place. Look at the mountain right up against 
against the ocean. Oh, imagine bringing the yacht out here. Look at the water, it's calm as. Look, there's another mountain over there. 7,000 islands. Oh, it's flying fish. Oh, I sent a flying fish then. Wow, wow, this is spectacular. I've got five days here, idiot. Wow. Do yourself a favor, go to the Philippines and have a go at this. So we're down walking in the main street of uh, Puerto Galera. I'm starting to get there. Right now it's nine o'clock in the morning. Magandang Umaga. I'm Lynn. Um, the place is overgrown with exotic plants that I've never seen before. I have no idea what these plants are, but it's pretty cool. These little uh, tuk-tuks. We'll go for a ride in that in a little bit later. Got the, the hill in the background. What we're gonna do is go to a shooting range of all things. And uh, we're going to <coughs> shoot a gun because my teacher has never shot a gun. So we're gonna go do that. Uh, this is a different adventure than I'm used to. Every time I walk outside, my, my glasses fog up. Here comes a dingo. Hey Ernie, hey Ernie. There's construction everywhere. There's motorbikes everywhere. Now, where we're staying is on the other side of that hill over there. That's where we're gonna get one of these tuk-tuks and, uh, and uh, yeah, go for a ride. The funny thing is, you know, you look at these places and you think, oh, there's no way I'd, I could live there. But the people there, They've got the biggest smiles on their faces and they're happy as, you know, a pig and you know what. So we just had some breakfast. I had noodles for breakfast, which is a little weird. And uh, yeah, right now the sun is bearing down on my head. It's just amazing, like everyone's happy. Everyone's after your dollar though. Everyone is after your dollar. And they sell all sorts of stuff here.
Right, we're just going to walk down one of these streets. We don't know where there's markets down there. Let's go to the market, eh? Let's see who we can run over. I swear there's more uh, taxis than there are people. So you got go karts. My teacher shot a gun for the first time. She hit the ball of the head every time. Beautiful, beautiful trees and palms, and it's just delightful here. Look at this. Trees that I've never seen before. I've seen palms before, but. Some beautiful, beautiful trees. the uh, hotel the resort now note to self next time find a place where there's an elevator because apparently this place is full of stairs it's also absolutely freaking beautiful oh look at this <laughs> how's that for a bloody view Look at that. Okay, so there's a chair over there, or a hammock over there with my name on it. We'll go get a beer. Uh, where do we go? Reception, Kuya. Okay. This one? Okay, so this is the room that I've picked for our little spot. Bathroom's good. Bathroom's good. Got a shower there. And uh, that's the view out of the window of the shower. Happy days, baby. Look at this. This is spectacular. That is it. Late at night, come across this. Cool as this. How fucking cool is this? I mean, seriously. Oh. 
<laughs> How cool is this? Oh, I'm going to go sail the boat. Check out this. So, got the little wheel, got the sails, got a party happening over here. We've uh, got up for an early morning stroll. Come across this uh, rock. Check out the root system on this rock. So that tree is just basically grown around that rock. Then there's just a branch ready to fall on someone's head. But it's all part of the mangrove system. Looks like there's a new resort going up there. This place is seriously beautiful. We come down here last night and Um, just up around the corner here is this little yacht. You would have seen that before. And it's just an awesome, awesome place. The birds are singing this morning. Can I hardly get my eyes open. So part of the lessons, part of the reason why I was here is because of the language and right now it's Magangdang um, Umaga, which means good morning. Kumustaka means how are you? Mabuti Namen means I am fine. See, I am learning. Learning is good. Learning. That keeps, helps keep the brain active. Now, it's probably about, I don't know, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So we will have to go and have a, go and cane, go eat. Back behind me, we walked down left and, as you know, guys, I have a little sailboat and the first thing I see was a, a big sailboat. So, in Tagalog, that means yate. And I am the Capitan. I love learning this new language. Helps when I've got a good teacher. Okay, so check it out this, guys. Check out this. This is where we were last night, and this is in the daytime. You know, the, the Filipino people actually get up quite early. A lot of them get up quite early. Like the other day when we come down to this spot after leaving Manila, we left at three in the morning. The place was pumping. I mean, it was pumping. The people. Three o'clock in the morning back in Adelaide. Well, 
Let's just let me say there's more people on the bus than there was in the uh, Adelaide. So far my teacher's actually been teaching me what plants I can eat. Look at that. Everything's a postcard. So one of the plans is today is to, uh, hey, we're gonna go have some breakfast and then we're gonna uh, head to uh, a little town. Um, we're gonna head to a little town and my plan is today is to try coconut. I've never actually had a coconut, I'll try coconut fresh. And these guys have no shortage of supply of coconuts. I mean, they've got that many of them there so on the beach where they just get washed up on the beach. Look at them all. There's just coconuts everywhere. Which makes me, it brings me into that song. You know that song, everyone knows that song. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> okay, there'll be enough to sing them. So yeah, the, the, the rubbish is quite confronting. It's everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's rubbish. <laughs> and you could pick it up and we could be here for five days and not even make a dent. If I was ever to live in the Philippines, that'd be my dream, not my dream, it'd be my goal to clean the beaches. That is just something that's, and we do get this in Australia. Old mate from Outback Cleanups Australia, he's doing his best to clean up Australia, you know, and I'm sure there's people here in the Philippines who are doing the same, but they have a lot of rubbish. And then you look over this way, it's absolutely stunning. So my teacher, she doesn't want to be on uh, film. She's teaching me all about, you know, the words and what each plant does, she's actually quite clever. I mean, like, everyone's clever than me. But she's actually teaching me, you know, what we can, what we can do, look at that. So I've been here for two days in the Philippines. This is the second day in Puerto Puerto Galera. And officially I'm on island time already. This is just shit. Like seriously, what is this place? <laughs> So where we are right now in Sabang, it's one of the dive capitals of uh, the Philippines and uh, we're just getting a bit of food and there's a dive resort there so uh, you can get some, uh, um, we end up getting some smoothies and whatnot. Yeah, and it's bloody beautiful.
place. Australia. Just a bit of meat. Now yeah, it's probably 30 degrees outside. That's meat. Chooks to go. Itiera. So 300 pesos is about seven dollars Australian. It's got some fruit. Up. So we're gonna have what's it called again? Mango seed. This is mango seed and it's uh I've never had this before. That tastes like. I don't hate it. It's got a bit of bite to it. I don't hate it, I don't hate it, but it's um, got a bit of bite to it. So down there is the seedy district of uh, this town, I can't remember what the town's called. Come out of there, and it's just a beach of... Hey, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. So my daughter's massively into scuba diving and this place here, well, the clarity of the water is just amazing. Um, you got all these guys here just working away, doing all the dive gear. There is bars and dive shops everywhere. Watch out for the dog. Dog sit on the step. Yeah. Okay, so we got to this bar called the Rare, the Big Apple, that's what it's called. And uh, yeah, we stayed there for a little while. We had to watch the, well, we didn't have to, but we enjoyed watching the uh, AFL football. A big Sydney Swans fan. The food here was sensational. The rice, the teacher said the rice here was absolutely beautiful. So it's a bar with a pool and rooms around there. You can have pizzas, you can do all sorts of stuff here. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, this is back at the hotel, this food. And then, um, some of the plants here also are pretty fantastic.
Uh, yeah, so this food was back at another place, uh, just a little sh little shop, um, and it's quite yeah, it's quite yummy actually. Okay, so this whole film that I've done is actually just off my iPhone. Um, I'd left the GoPro and the uh, drone at home this time because uh, I was only there for a short five day period. So the whole video is done off the uh, iPhone. It is, uh, it's pretty warm here. And this is the cool season. This is the uh, wet season. Um, we do what we can to find a bit of shade. Um, some of these vendors here, like, I'm not entirely sure they get a, a lot of customers every day. The guys who are driving the tuk-tuks, they're the guys who are pretty busy. You see a lot of people just, Sitting about doing nothing really, and it sounds like a sort of life that I could deal with. Um, you do get a lot of these alleyways where you just walk around, and, and there's small vendors everywhere. There's small vendors everywhere, and uh, you know, and you get hassled. You get hassled by you buy this, sir, you buy this, sir. Sometimes we say yes, sometimes we say no. Um, the funny thing is, no one's got a care in the bloody world. You know, I'm stressed, my job. Everybody's stressed with their jobs. Why would you be bloody 
beach dress for? This is called White Beach. And we've just had our second breakfast. Apparently that's the thing we do in uh, the Philippines. Oh, I guess we'll have to buy something for the kids. We will not be getting on those like, extreme sport things over there. So it's not really tourist season. There's not a lot of people around. In the middle of the day, in the middle of the day, uh, you know, there's people just don't come out. It's <laughs> it's that freaking hot. Look at this. This is a sand sculpture. I've seen this online before. That's actually a sand sculpture. And it's always there. And I guess. I guess they, uh, I don't know, look after it every day. You get a beer, more food. What a relaxed lifestyle. Everyone's got thongs on, flip flops, or whatever you call them. There's some absolutely beautiful women here. They're all freaking crazy, of course. <clears throat> it's funny, you know, look, it's, I've got, I've got a singlet on, tank top. And then you see someone walk past with a hoodie on, you're going, why? Why do you have a hoodie on? Uh, I think it's time for me to go have a swim. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is White Beach, right? This is beautiful here. Yeah? I've just spent the last hour in there. And you just watch people walk past these shops and cafes and all sorts of stuff. Now, I'm getting absolutely roasted here. It's probably about 33 degrees. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it is paradise here. I don't think I'll ever go anywhere else in the world with this place. This is sensational. Uh, we're going to go have a beer. Relax in the shade. We'll get a bit of lunch in a minute. You know, the funny thing is, my mates, my mates are sitting around a campfire in Australia, freezing their bejeebuses off. <laughs> and I'm at the beach having a swim. This is unbelievable, baby. You know my favorite saying? Happy days. This is what relaxed stew is all about. In the middle of winter, learning a new language. The teacher's a bit crazy though. It's 12 o'clock. It's the king's birthday, and I'm about to have a beer. <sighs> this is hard to take. This is hard to take. Okay, so we spent a day at the beach and uh, pretty sunburnt while all my friends are uh, rugged up in, you know, beanies and coats and whatever. And we're gonna go back to the, uh, the resort. And this little machine here, look at this. Look at this. 
the beast, the beast. A key to success is failure. Huh. Look at this beast here. Should I drive it? I should drive that, shouldn't I? Anyway, we're gonna go back. Uh, it's nearly time for some more beers because like I haven't had enough yet. <laughs> and uh, um, oh, there's a goat over there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, what I have noticed is this fruit. There's fruit everywhere. If you can see in the tree over there, if you can see in the tree over there, Banana. You want banana, mate? Two dollar. There's these plants. Well, that brings it to the end of the, uh, the episode. It's a little bit different, it's a little adventure that uh, it's not normally what I would do. Um, I just I thought I'd give it a go, listen, talk to people about their language, and um, um, yeah, and just sort of you know see if I can learn. The funny, funny <laughs> the funny thing is. I spent more time using my eyes than I did my uh, mouth because even though I did speak to people and most of them do speak English here, I mean, as an Aussie, you can come over here, American and English or whatever, um, you can come over to the Philippines and, uh, you know, and you talk English. They pretty much all talk English. Um, really helps. Look at that. Bloody hell. Um, um, yeah, so come over now here's the here's the uh, kicker right there's seven thousand I think this I think I think don't please correct me if I am wrong there's seven thousand four hundred and eleven islands I've been to two the main island of Manila and this this magnificent place it is next level so me and the teacher, we're gonna have a few beers around the uh, around the pool. Got old mate clean under here. He's done a great job. Got a good life. Now, now, I can't remember if I've said this before, right? This is unbelievable. This cost us 50 bucks a night. $50 a night. So the total cost of this trip for me, and when I go on holidays, I don't really like to save, I like to enjoy myself. I was struggling to spend two grand. Now the flights are about $1,150 uh, with insurance. The accommodation here was, I don't know, 250 bucks or something, 230 bucks. Accommodation in Manila, it was a bit rough. Um, a bit rough, it wasn't as rough as, you know, you think, but um, yeah, that was that was about 50 bucks as well. The taxi fares, well, you've got to get a lot of taxis. Um, um, <laughs> or tuk-tuks, or motorbikes. Like, they're costing you two or three dollars a shot. Two or three dollars Australian a shot. The meals, so we're having a few meals up here, right? Because our room is just there, or hang on, just there, and the meals are up the top there. So, the meals are three or four dollars. The cheapest meal we've had is two dollars, and that was absolutely sensational. And the, probably the most expensive meal I had, four bucks. So, I, I'd, I'd get like today, my teacher and myself, we went out. And uh, got a uh, two main meals plus a 
a wrap plus this drink thing that's frozen ice and berries and jelly and really different really cool um it costs us ten dollars so, so for lunch you know ten bucks for two people breakfast was well breakfast here is free and the food is beautiful the food here is beautiful um the view is pretty crap <laughs> imagine waking up to this every day even the people who live here go, this is just epic. Uh, so yeah, so it's not very expensive. Uh, I have bought a few things for the kids and I uh, bought a few things for the uh, teacher. I'm trying to do my do my thing. But uh, I bought nothing for myself. Well, actually a few beers. Okay, the beers, right? A beer, a full strength beer, $3. So 10 beers, you get on your off your face 10 beers 30 bucks you go what is going on what is going on 30 bucks so i appreciate you watching i appreciate you get, get to the end of the video if you have subscribe like do all the things you need to do and help out the channel we won't be doing this too many times actually if there's one more time we're going to do it but it won't be for a while then we'll get back into the sailing videos and the uh, four-wheel drive videos like i've been superbly jealous Put my yacht out there and i'm a king i am a king it's just beautiful here there's no there's no um swell everywhere we've been there's been no swell it's just like this all the time now they do have typhoons here and the general rule of thumb is typhoon evacu evacuation warning is grab your beer and run like hell but i think once you get behind those hills there you know, you'd be fine. But there's 7,000, I think 411 islands and it's just, and this one is not the best one. This is not the best one. Now, your job is now to look up the Philippines for your next holiday. I don't work for the Philippines, I'm not sponsored, but let me tell you, this is, and the, uh, and the fishing. I didn't even talk about the fishing, but this is absolutely spectacular. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Happy days. Thank you again.